But then at the end of the day, you don't know if that person that's trying to get that information from you is really going to be with you or if they're going to deviate from the plan. You can't worry that far, though. You can't worry that far. You got you to worry that far, nah, bro. You just we gotta we do, 30 years deep. Nah, look, look, look. We 30 years deep. You can't, look, though. Killing you can't, look, though. You can't worry that far. All you can do is set it up where if stuff do happen, you got your back fade. But other yeah. than that, you cannot worry about it to the fact where, because in that case, you would never do it then. You would never, you would no, never you, you work gotta, with, You got to keep doing it. You got to keep right, doing it. Right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So and you can't worry that. You got to just do your due diligence, but at the end of the day, you got to pull the trigger. You know what I mean? You can't just. I'm going to put it like you know this. What I'm, you can't, I'm going to put it like this. Right? Every damn thing. If you sitting on 100 pounds, would you want everybody to know where you live at? No, you wouldn't want nobody to know where you live at. <laughs> I'm, see, just, that's saying, I'm no, just saying, that's the same no, shit. No, no, no. Because it's the same see, no, no, shit. No, no, no. Let me tell you the it's difference. The same, you sitting on 100 pounds. Let me tell you the difference. Let me tell you the difference. Don't worry about where you live at. Let me tell you the difference. You sure won't know everybody know where you live at if you sit on one pound. So at the end of the day, you got to do your due diligence. After that, you got to let the universe be the universe. I don't give a fuck how careful you is. If, it's, if that's the thing for you, it's the thing for you. You can it's, be as slick as pot. I man, mean, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to matter if that's, the, if, that's the, if that's the, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. So all you can do is just do your due diligence and, and just let hope, life work. And hope. That's it. That's all you can do in life, period. Well, do we, your part well, and you gotta let it go. You well, know what we finna do? That's all you can well, do. What we finna do and hopefully, you know what I mean, like the work is being done. You know what I'm saying? The that's work the, is being the, done. That's the main part. So that's like the main part right as here. long as we keep the momentum, it can do nothing but go up. You know what I'm saying? And all the individuals that's involved are individuals that are, have been around when we had nothing. Right. So what is what is the next step to get to wherever the next step needs to be? What's the what you need or man? I need I need, need, I need, I need support, or? man. I need support, man. I need support out this world, man. From from everybody from every side of the city to finally look at it for what it is, right? You have to look at it for what it is, and all of our communities across this whole nation, this great nation of ours. Young men that look like me and my brother right here are dying at a rapid pace, right? So yeah, I'm talking about a yeah. rapid pace, right? We turning our sides of the cities into ghost towns because we so busy focused on trying to slide on niggas that live on the other side of the street. You know what I'm saying? I need everybody's help in trying to like figure out how to break that fucking thought process. Well. That's that's you know true, saying? but you gotta you know we gotta crawl before we walk. So far as that, that's that's step one. Nah, for all the men, for all the men, all the all the women, all the all the families that have dealt with this shit. You know what I mean? When they hit this shit, you know what I mean? Hopefully, it influenced them to start taking kind of a some control on what's happening around them. So like, when you think about all the motherfuckers that's running around here shooting, right? They ain't got family. They ain't got people that love them. They, they got people that love them. They got people that know. They got people that know. On Sunday, when this little motherfucker come to um to uh, Sunday dinner, he probably gonna leave his pistol in the car. He gonna smoke a couple blunts before he come in the crib. He ain't talking to his buddies about who they almost jaded out. Real shit. They know. It's up to us as like a, a community. These I'm talking about, man. Every time I hit the city, I talk to elders. This one elder said something strong, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to become uh, neighbors. That's what I need help with. Well, well, that's, you talking that's to, it. you're talking to, you're talking <laughs> to, you're talking to the universe, right? like, I mean, come on, man. Far as the program go, though. No, we decent. What the, what the, what? We decent, okay. man, volunteers, man, volunteers, people that's really about that action. You know what I mean? We need people that's really like strong and passionate about who they are. You know what I mean? Not no, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it ain't no judgment to it. You know what I'm saying? Because we come from the world, so it's like trying to build up this team. You know what I mean? The individuals that's able to stop um, some of the shootings. Like we ain't gonna be able to stop all the robberies. You know what I'm saying? But all the little frivolous Facebook bullshit. You know what I'm saying? All the you know, I'm going I'm to ride past Broadway and Lindale and just shoot the whole fucking gas station up. So if you had, so if you had somebody right now to get a hold of you and say they want to get, they want to get in, what do, what can they do? What would they be? What's some of the job descriptions that you need from them? Or, you know, what, what would be, what would you tell them? What would, what would you need from them? Man, right now, um, if you want to get involved, it'll be volunteer work. You know what I mean? Up front, 
just to kind of um, pay your dues. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going to bring you to the table and you ain't really about no action. So you definitely going to have to show up in your community, you know what I mean, be a recruiter for what we call uh, active agents of change. So that means like you not only involving and in, in engaging yourself in change for your neighborhood, but you bringing two or three of your guys with you. You know what I mean? And in that, it's like multiple resources that are available to families, you know what I mean, in, in return for even getting in tune. So like all the things that you can imagine that you wanted out of Target, you know what I'm saying, you can actually get with the squad, you know what I mean, and get everything that you thought you needed out of Target, just on GP, because you with us. You know what I mean? And all the things that you thought you needed to hustle for or you thought that you needed to uh, risk your life for, they start dwindling away because now we open up lanes that show you that there's other ways for you to get the same amount of money that you're getting doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's like less risk. You know what I'm saying? Like I really want everybody to live. I don't give a fuck what side of the town you from. I could care less about what gang a motherfucker claim. I could care less about how much motherfucking money somebody think they get. You know so, what I mean? It's like, at the end of the day, we all the same. And if we don't tighten our shit up, these motherfuckers are gonna come take our neighborhoods over just like they doing in Chicago. So like they're doing everywhere. That gentrification is real. Uh, what kind of, how can they get a hold of you though? Man, hit me up, man. My um, my first name, Farg.Shahir at Gmail. Shoot me an email. You know what I mean? I would give you my number, but I got crazy people in the world. <laughs> and the website is uh, peace tr peace .org. Um Check out the website, Innovative Solutions, man. We definitely we swinging on something real powerful, man. And we dealing with guys that might bust your fucking head. So, you know what I'm saying? Definitely pay attention to that because these are the young men that will definitely blow your ass down. So, you know, they're strong. They, they, they're troopers. You know what I'm saying? And we need them to be alive right now. And we need to make sure that not only that they're alive, but they actually use their skills or whatever the fuck you want to call it to keep their neighborhood safe. Because we got an uprising, kids getting kidnapped, and little girls going missing. So, yeah, you gotta, gotta get back to policing our own, our own situation. We gotta police now. our own situation. Well, that's how, you know, that's how gangs started, though. You know, everything was yeah. about community. Everything started from the Black Panthers, you yeah. know, pretty much from all, you know, back in them days. So, yeah, that's what it was about. But, you know, like I said, when you build a game, though, man, so what they do? They did, they brought crack in. They brought Jim Crow in, crack, right. and then, the one thing you know about what I'm saying, it, like, they, these motherfuckers cold, so. When it came to crack, in my honest opinion, when it came to crack, we fell for the shit. Of course. Right, we fell yeah. for the shit, yeah. and in my honest opinion, I, I'm gonna say it for what it is, man. Niggas got lazy, boy. They thought that they could just make fast money all fucking day. They stopped using their hands, they stopped using their mind, they stopped using their yeah. fucking heart. And they started thinking that everything that they could get in life came out of this motherfucking drug that killed everybody in their fucking neighborhood and sent everybody else to prison. Shit retarded. Shit retarded. So I, I don't blame a motherfucker. You know, when it come down to it, I don't, I don't blame... I don't blame none of that government shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta blame. You gotta blame I where mean, it came they, from, they, though. I, I, you gotta put the some, blame where it came. To, to some capacity, I do. Yeah, but to. overall... That's we have said. the discipline. We should have the discipline within ourselves and the structure within ourselves that doesn't allow the influence from a motherfucker that's trying to kill yeah, us to make have. us do the shit that we do to each other. That's weak as hell. And motherfuckers running around here talking about they tough as shit. That shit weak as hell to me. It definitely is. That shit weak, dog. Like, it definitely is. I don't get it. That's the know? reality of it, though. You know what I mean? The motherfuckers lazy, That's dog. That's the reality you of it. You run up on one of these little niggas, man, and ask them, do they know how to change some brakes? What you think they're going to tell you? They're going to tell you nothing. You ask them if they know like, how to frame my house. You, now, now, who do you put that blame on, though? The blame goes to their motherfucking it, daddies and they people before them. The mom, our generation. You know what I'm we, saying? We fucked up. We yeah. fucked up. And how did we get we fucked, fucked up? up? And how did we get fucked up? Fuck I mean, we crack. We thought crack was gonna do it. There we thought you go. the only I motherfuckers mean. that got rich off cocaine is the motherfuckers in Miami selling Lamborghinis all day. Man, I asked this little nigga to play spades one time. He said, nigga, I was raised around my mom and, and what do you say, my mom and sisters, they played music and talked on the phone. 
And that's the other that nigga part. Said they play music and talk on the phone. That nigga don't that's know how to do nothing part. besides that. Not, they don't even know how to wash dishes. Can't can't break a vacuum cleaner down. <laughs> but but they running around with sticks. And you know what? I heard. Yeah. Um, shout out to Gilly. Man, I heard him say the other day. Yeah. He said, he said, if your gun is bigger than your bank, bro, you tripping. Stun! <laughs> you got a big Stun. ass gun, bro. Man. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. What's yeah. going on? Stop! What's wrong with you? But you know, but, but, you? but you know, it's all about just doing what we do. Like so, like how you got your your situation, right? Yeah. You know, it's a bunch of people that got their situations, right? All we got to do though is, you know, everybody keep doing that. But the same way that we use Facebook groups for this and that, you know, people need to get on those groups more. Mm -hmm. Share each other group names and try to interact with people more. We got the damn internet, but we, the internet was supposed to bring us together, but it drove us apart. People was fake together, like you got 500 friends, don't talk to motherfuckers. No, no. That of them. <laughs> Look, man, and we're crazy. I mean, come on, man. So we're we gotta crazy. Just, we just gotta crazy connect. Shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it don't get no. I showed this dude. Um, <laughs> we're crazy. I showed this dude the video when we was on Broadway. That uh, what was it? Guns down, love up or something yeah. like that. And he was like, it was a white dude at my job. And he was blown away. Like, you would never see that on the news type of shit. Never. You know what I'm saying? Shit never. like that. But it's up to us to just keep doing that. Keep fighting. The game is rigged. It's definitely stacked against us. We may not never win, but that don't don't never give up because we may win one day. Who knows? The, the thing but is, you gotta keep fighting, man. And if you, you get, just gotta if, wake up. Just wise up, man. If if, wise. if if my words to the little Nick, I mean to the to the young folks that's out here risking their life for this shit, right? Like, do what you gonna do, right? But you don't have to bring a gun to the party at a time, like. You know what I mean? If if you gonna get involved in this and get involved in a world where you know the potential outcome, you know what I mean? Do what you can to hurry up and get the fuck out that world. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know nobody that wake up wanting to be shot, and I don't want no I don't know no family that wakes up and want to bury their baby. So motherfuckers gotta start thinking about that shit. I don't like I don't like I said. I don't, ain't no gang to me, you know what I mean? Ain't no one side or this side. It's like I love everybody, and motherfuckers need to transfer that energy, be so we can start buying our shit back and building out motherfucking businesses along our avenues, like Broadway or Dead Zone. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, why would we wait for somebody else to do something to Broadway when we got the potential to do it? And then if you meet with motherfuckers. You gotta make sure that motherfuckers really down for the same cause, cause it's all type of like non-profits, you know what I mean? That but are more interested in continuing the process that's happening. I'm talking about gentrification, right? Are they make a bigger bag. All right, come on, keep killing yourself. Keep killing yourself, boy. You dropping your property value, right? When you die. Your family gonna have to come to the hospital and when they in the hospital trying to pull all them fucking tubes out your black ass, like they gonna be asking your family if you wanna donate your organs to some shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get, your family not gonna get five dollars off of any organ that's get donated. Understand what the fuck y'all doing, man. Straight up. I, I mean, that's in I think, I think, um, I think one thing I'm starting to hear a little bit more is People is starting to preach more about investing in real estate and stuff. Yeah. I'm starting to hear that through the through the little lines, man. So yeah. that's a good thing too, man. Make your money, make money. Make money, man. You know, sure, but, get um, your fucking money. What's the don't, last? Don't don't get yourself killed over no fucking five hundred dollars, no thousand dollars. And if you outside, talk to your mama about getting some fucking life insurance, cause y'all goofy as hell. If you think that when you get shot. God damn it, don't nobody got to pay for your shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Go fund me is crazy. Go fund me crazy. Did a lot of, you did a lot of phone little joints. <laughs> <laughs> if you with the shits, my Now G. you go fund me when you pass. That shit ain't that cool, That shit ain't man. cool, G. You outside, whole motherfucking stacks to your ear. God damn it. And then when your ass get popped, you know, your family got to scrape up funds to get you buried. Like, at least... At least have the sense enough to talk to your family about getting life insurance if you're going to be with the shits. Straight up. So I just say, man, my last thing to people, for all the creators out there, man, get together more. Spread the love, spread the knowledge. Man, each one teach one. Reach back and grab one, all that good shit. You know what I mean? 
Hey, stop pump faking out here stop with y'all lies. <laughs> that shit ain't cool, you know what I mean? It's like, cool. we all was loud. Like I said, man, we tore the seal when we was young, man. But down, you have man. to learn, though. As you get older, you got to learn. You got to... And, you know, I, I'll be the first to say, man, we left them stuck a little bit, man. But, yeah, you know, fun, now what we can do is we can't cry or spill milk. Like I told my son, I, I, got, a, I got a grown son. I told him, like, I can't fix what happened as you was growing up, you know what I'm saying? I can't fix that. But you could get on this ride with me right now because I'm going up and I'm gonna keep going until God take me, you know what I'm saying? Because now I'm wiser, I know what time it is. Now you can get on this train with me now. We can't cry about yesterday. Yeah, can't you can it. get on with me now, you know what I'm saying? Let's ride, you know what I mean? So that's all we can do now for the youth is, we can't cry over spoiled milk. Yeah, we all died and went to jail or whatever. Yeah, we fucked up or whatever. But now we're starting to be, the older cast is getting it popping now, like from entertainment, everything. Like, motherfuckers, you wise, you know what to do with your money now. Mm -hmm. So you need to collaborate. You, all of us, young and old, need to collaborate and, and figure shit out, man. Like, you know, it don't, man, it don't, man, listen. Yeah. Imagine, imagine Broadway where you could run across the street and get an ice cream cone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, where the kids can, like, chill at the fucking water park and not have to worry about little goofy ass motherfucking niggas shooting at each other across the park where everybody's swimming. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. come on. Like, like imagine I seen that shooting at the barber shop, man. I said, why would you shoot through the bar? Walk up on the motherfucker, wait till he come out if it's that damn serious. I mean, come on, what you shooting through the fucking barber shop with this Like, that's a, man, people, it's crazy, man. It's crazy out people here, crazy. man. And like, I don't got no remorse for anybody that get, you know what I mean? Like, if you do that shit and you get jammed up in it, hey, that's your business. Like, eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to run around like motherfuckers. That, like cool, like, that shit ain't you cool, though, man. You niggas, all, man. if you're going to shoot somebody, walk up on them and shoot them. And, don't and have, have a reason, reason for it. They have a reason. But I'm saying, no, motherfuckers going to, right, people right, going right, to do what they're going to do, right? right? So my thing is, man, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You, everybody ain't gonna be goody two shoes. Everybody ain't gonna be this. Everybody, some motherfuckers is killers. Like, if know. you're gonna be a killer, I don't. I, I hope you ain't. But if you is, walk up to the person you want to kill and kill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, don't involve everybody. Don't, don't shoot the innocent child and the a, innocent people. It was a all that they got shot. Shit. And then y'all could actually squash shit with handshakes a lot of times. A lot of times. A lot of times, shit be over girls, money that ain't real money. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's the connect money. It just they're yeah. like, come on, y'all. Let's or get Facebook. it together. And if you're going to do it, because you're going to do what you want to do anyway, do it right. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to do that, do it right. But hopefully, don't involve everybody. Hopefully you don't want to do it. Yeah, hopefully you don't. But of course, you know, like you said, you, there is killers out there. So. It's, some, it's shit that happened, man. Somebody run up in my mama house, push my mama around, shoot my little sister, or shoot my daughter. It's a whole different ball game, so I, I get it. I get the emotion that come with that. See, now that's even different, though, because at least you have a reason. I mean, like, you that's know? the shit that's going <laughs> on outside. Like, that's like, what's going on outside, yeah, man. These little motherfuckers is running in, in t into each other's houses. This they doing right. what they doing to each other. They, they, don't, they know each other from when they was kids, but then grew up, and now all of a sudden they got some beef because one of them decided to live on the low end and one of them decided the to live in a high in a city that's so small you get to either one of them bitches in seven and, and, minutes and the fucked up part in about seven it minutes. the fucked up part about it is before these two young men do this to each other they don't even know that they families are know each other yeah that happened to my cousin that happened to my little cousin man he ended up popping his cousin on his on it was his cousin baby mama i mean baby daddy ended up popping the baby daddy that you know and what they fuck like, around be cousins or cousins. Well, distant you know, relatives cousin or the mothers done been to somebody wedding together or they done been to somebody funeral together some some shit like that and these young men and young ladies you know what I mean Ooh, grow that's, up Ooh, that's another thing the women is getting gotta, wild gotta talk about the that the women is getting wild that. out here I'm talking the women is Ooh, wait. Man, I'm talking about they world. whooping ass and pulling pistols the whole night. Yeah, I'm so tired of seeing a girl fight. No, oh, I'm tired of seeing it. I do not they like they girl fights. I'll tell you how They setting dudes up. That too. That's it. All of it's wild. Like, girls are yeah, wild nowadays. Right. They, they setting dudes up. They always, they man, it was wild back then too. But now, I don't know, man. <clears throat> I guess it's social media, so we just see everything. No, I don't it, know if that's what makes it seem so much more or what, but. 
it's, it seems like it's out of hand, man. Uh, it's it seems crazy. It, I mean, this is like 1996. It is. It's kind of back to then. It's like that. This is 1996. It's like that, man. Like, that's but it's crazy. Like, at some point as a community, when do we grow? Is this going to be our pattern forever? Is this is this what we're going to do? We're going to have children, you know what I'm saying? They grow up to young teenagers and then they get involved in the bullshit that they got no structure and they end up in prison or they end up murdered. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this what our destiny looks like? Our neighborhoods is ghost towns, dog. If you, if you ride down Broadway right now, like, it ain't nobody outside drinking coffee. It ain't no restaurant open where you can just walk in. I mean, you got hooks and all this other type of shit that's really killing you. You know what I'm saying? But all, ain't no restaurant no good. The, man, like I said, the only thing we could do, man, is keep doing, like, how you got your shit. And other got their shit. And we just got to connect more. Yeah. People got to connect, uh, create Facebook groups for people that got organizations and connect more. That's what we need, man. We need to connect more. There should have been a couple leaders out there on that um, that guns down, love up shit, I mean stuff. Like, you know, no, for real. But um, yeah, man, it gotta just be more connection. Cause it's people out here doing it. It's people out here that's marching when a black person kill a black person. I always say, why don't they march when a? It's motherfuckers that's out here got organizations, man. That shit just don't get publicized like that. And we just right. gotta connect more. We need more people. We can't have just that one organization doing it. Why not connect with? You know, we need more people to volunteer. If you got to volunteer, you know what I'm saying, to start off, volunteer. You know, get you a regular job and volunteer and do that or whatever. Like, don't be always looking for a bag or some shit. You know, That's all they worry about. And don't even be, be having a bag, though. It's like, that would be killing me. Niggas always tell me chasing a bag. They ain't got a bag, though. How many time, How long you chasing this motherfucker? It's a you ain't caught some of it? Like that. It's a hustle, man. Man, like, volunteer if you gotta volunteer. You know what please, I'm saying? Please catch up with Innovative Solutions. Like, we're doing real things, real time. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be none of this, um, none of the fluff, as I call it. it. Ain't no fluff. It's all raw, right? So, if you say you need somewhere to stay, we're gonna get you somewhere to stay. If you need uh, assistance with getting some money, we're gonna give you assistance with getting some money. If, um, yeah, because I think that was the water. <laughs> <laughs> you trained this joint. I think that's the water. Right. Oh, shit, man. Let's sign off, man. Look, hey, look. If you need assistance with uh, housing, <laughs> if you need assistance with resource navigation, you, smoke. Oh, so, you know what I'm saying? If you need help with clothing, if you need help with furniture, if you need help with toys for your kids, if you need help with deodorant, if you need help with getting your license, goddammit, if you need help with just, goddammit, trying to find motivation and focus for your life, um, if you need help just trying to figure out what else it is in life that you're supposed to do and you want to figure out your lane, come holler at me. I'm dead ass. Give me that email again. Man, it's farji.shahir at gmail. F-A-R-J-I dot S-H-A-H-E-E-R at gmail. Send me an email, I promise to God I'm going to get back to you. There you have it. Straight up. And I'm going to give you a whole lane. I'm going to open up a whole lane and you're going to be like, damn, I didn't even think I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do floors and construction. You know what I'm saying? We, we do lawn care. We do all of these different things, man. We got brothers with clothing lines, brothers with recording studios. We got shit, black, the first black-owned boat company in the state of Minnesota. What's happening? Like, what's happening? We got the camps, you know what I mean? Get in tune. Get in tune. And we don't go camping just in the summertime. We go camping in the winter. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all the way, uh, it's the new level, man. Fuck it. It's the new level. It's man, that's new what's level. up, man. Hey, man, it's, it's uh, been a long time, but that was a good one, man. I, I, yeah. That, um, that organization, man. Dude. Like I said, we get people to tap in, man. Yeah, I mean, you, man. Yeah, I told you. Straight up, you man. Time, man. Like, I told you. We, just we, gotta do, we gotta do monetizing. Yeah, you know, tell me when, man. I'm in. It's game time. Y'all be on the lookout for what's gonna happen. A lot of it's gonna be done in the shadows, because we don't really like the cameras and shit. It's the only time you really see us on camera and shit. But, yeah. like, pay attention to the words, pay attention to the symbols that you start seeing. 
shit gonna be like Batman or something. You did. All right, man, we out, man. LTF.